All right, what's up guys? We are going to break down one of the deals. Uh, this is a long-term rental purchase that I made in September of 2019. And I basically just want to break it down, show you guys essentially what it looked like in 2019 compared to today. So you can kind of get a better idea of like why it is important to invest in real estate long-term. And this is just breaking down one deal. Of course, the idea is to get your first deal, but then to continue on to purchase a second, third, fourth in order to um, have multiple pieces of real estate that are producing income because one might not be, you know, bringing in a ton of income, but as you start to accumulate uh, properties and cash flow, wealth, etc., you're obviously going to put yourself in a better and better position. And so here's what this one looks like. This is a property purchased in Florida. Uh, it is in Davenport, Florida. I purchased it in September of 2019. Brand new home, DR Horton. Um, purchased it for 192000 I just put 190000 make it simple. But... Um, and at the time I put 25% down, which I believe when I did the math was about 45,000 roughly, a little bit more than 45,000, financed about 150,000. Um, total payment comes to $1,000 and that's based on the rates at that time, which was three and a half percent, which is amazing. Obviously lock that in, I'm gonna keep that. Um, at the time, the property was renting at $1,450. Um, so $1,450, it essentially brought me about $400 or so in cash flow um, after property management fees and everything. And it was a brand new home, so there wasn't much other expenses and there still hasn't been much additional expenses up to this day, considering it's only a few years old. Um, the cool thing about this is, yes, at the time purchased for 190, cash flow of about $400. But as you can see here, you know, fast forward almost four years later, not even four years later, and the value is about $300,000. So I've increased my net worth by $110,000. And then if you look at the cash flow, we are currently renting it at 1850. So it's gone up by what, about $400 a month. Um, and so we're at around $700 cash flow. That's again, taking out the property management fees, which run about 8% generally speaking. So $100, $140 somewhere in that ballpark is what you're looking at there. Um, the other cool thing about this is I was also able to write off over $50,000 via cost segregation for that year's tax or the following year's taxes. And that essentially saved me uh, more than $15,000 in, in what I would have paid to the, to the Fed via taxes. And so rather than spending that $15,000 in taxes, I was able to put that into my next property. Um, and when I say knocking off $50,000 in income, essentially what I'm saying is if I made $300,000 of net income that year, um, it was then 250,000. And of course I bought multiple properties, so I was actually able to write off hundreds of thousands of dollars of income that year which is obviously just a massive savings in taxes, which again, I just use for the next purchase rather than paying the federal government or you know the Fed in taxes, I use that money to buy more real estate. And just think about this, if 2023, I'm now making $700 a month in cash flow. Imagine if you multiply that by 10 and you have 10 properties. Um, and I, I'm currently up to 14, 15, 15 properties, I believe now. Um, and not that they're all making that $700 a month, but it gives you a great idea of the potential of each purchase. Yes, at the beginning, $300, $400 may not sound amazing, but 
you know, this is only four years later and it's now $700. Let's say you have 10 properties, multiply that by 10. How do you feel about having $7,000 of monthly additional income that is completely passive and that continues to grow on top of obviously also growing in value as well? If that property was 190, currently 300,000, what if I wanted to get some extra cash in order to purchase additional real estate or living expenses or whatever in the world I wanted to spend that money on? I could go ahead and refinance this loan, which is currently at $150,000 balance. Let's say I go up to 80% of the 300,000. That puts it, I could borrow up to $240,000, let's say. If I owe 150, I can pull out about $90,000 tax free. That is the other amazing thing about real estate is when you pull, do a cash out refi on real estate, you are not going to be taxed on it. And so it's a great way to pull out additional funds if you need it. Not, nothing I'm planning on doing, but it's definitely nice to be able to do so. Um, and it just gives me that ability to be able to use, um, to be more leveraged, I guess you could say, in case I want to make any sort of other purchases, whether it be real estate or just living expenses, experiences, things of that nature. So anyways, guys, just wanted to break down this deal. Obviously, real estate it's a, is an amazing uh, vehicle in order to invest your money. And I think it truly is one of the best ways to uh, invest your money long term. And again, I want to make sure it's very clear that, yeah, it may not look amazing on day one, but imagine year five or year 10 when you're really getting at a stage where you want to retire or have more freedom. By investing into real estate or properties like this, it puts you in a position to have that financial freedom, to build your net worth and also to build an amazing passive cash flow. I like long term. I also like short term. I like to have a little bit of everything in the mix. Currently, most of my real estate are long term investments with just a couple of short term. Uh, long term tend to have lower uh, cash flow. Of course, year by year, it's going to vary a little bit. Um, but it's also a lot easier, right? You get a renter in there for one year, two years, three years, and so forth. And you just continue to raise rents based upon the rental market. Um, anyway, guys, real estate is where it's at long term. If you guys are looking to create freedom, to create wealth in real estate, give us a call. We'd love to help you guys. We'd love to get you guys on a path to creating financial freedom. Um, I think it's something that we all need a little bit more of. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Have a great one.